Hello, hello, hello. I'm Lynn Browder and I'm painting flowers. <laughs> I laugh because I paint a lot of flowers. It just makes me laugh for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but I'm going to try to paint a little bit different. <laughs> I get in spurts where I'm painting a spe specific style or something and continue to do it the same way. So I'm going to try to make myself do a little bit different, a little bit different. We shall see. I paint the backgrounds with my son Owen who has autism. And he helps me paint the backgrounds with a hand-over-hand -hand method, working on his fine motor skills. And then I paint the rest. So I'm trying to kind of go through and um, I have in my mind that I'm going to do uh, a couple, not necessarily bigger flowers, but just kind of more... Mo digger. <laughs> oh, I think I'm slap happy tonight. Owen woke up about five, I think it was. Probably, I shouldn't say five. A little bit probably before five. And so I think, um, I don't think I'm quite awake anymore. And we had a busy day. He's, I think he's going through some, uh, oh, he's 11. So I think he's starting to go through some different changes and, and just emotions and it, you know, it's, it's an emotional journey. And when he can't always express what he's thinking and feeling and knowing and just all of it, I'm sure that's even more of what's on his mind and agenda and thoughts and everything. So, and I went to a, um, I did a book signing. I have a book, uh, 365 Days of Autism, and you can see it in my profile or, um, you can get it on Amazon with my name, um, and Browder, or just if you look, 365 Days of Autism, it's out there. And it just goes with our journey of autism. And um, I share, I share emotions. And uh, the story that I have there is from 2017. And um, eventually I'll get the rest of them um, published. Uh, I keep looking for a publisher, editor, all of those, those things, but it's hard to get somebody to do that, um, and figure it all out. So one day I'll figure it all out, but for now I self publish that and it is out there. So, um, today it was fun, got to meet a lot of people and it's just good to go and do something, you know, different and exciting and adventurous when I'm not doing much of, much of that anymore. But it was, was fun. Um, I miss, um, oh, that, I, I just, I put purple on my, my, um, brush and, that wasn't the color I was going to go for at this point, but guess what? We're just going to go for it. <laughs> when that happens, you just do. Uh, if you've watched any of my paintings before, um, they're just very randomness. Um, I mean, I get there eventually, but um, I... I I started painting with my son for my son and it's turned out to still painting with my son, but definitely more for me, even though we're still working on his fine motor skills, painting has just become this like 
thing um, for me. And it just gives me so much joy to be able to do this and just focus on, focus on this and share our story, share my story, share the world. Just, it, you know, you have to take care of yourself. You have to find something that makes you happy. And being able to share this journey through painting, you know, with my son and with others, it's just, it's a great experience and it helps me to just learn and focus because sometimes that's the hardest thing. You know, my son, he screams a lot. He has a lot of emotional outbursts and they're not all like because he's mad. They're because he is happy that the animal came on the screen at the right time or the building is moving or the volume is loud. He loves the volume very loud, <laughs> very, very loud. And if any of you are manufacturers or part of any of the teams of any of the tablet manufacturers or even, you know, phones for that matter, TVs, anything that makes noise, <laughs> please, I beg you to put the um, volume control where it can be locked <laughs> and not just for the headphones, for the real live, we're listening to the music and everything else very, very extremely loud. So, if any of you can <laughs> get right on that for me, please. I would appreciate it. I've not found a um, app for that <laughs> that works for me. Um, I, I feel like some days, like, I understand technology. And then there's most of the days where, nope, I sure don't. <laughs> And when you have a child that wants the technology to work exactly as they need it to work, it's it's hard. Now here, I'm going to let this drop. This, this is exciting for me. There you go. Sometimes, a lot of times, as you can tell, I put way, 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 way too much paint on my paintbrush. And this is actually not, again, at all like what I felt like I was going to do. But it's just going to work out. It's just going to be as it should be. We just go with the flow. But um, I I put way too much paint on my paintbrush. And I, as you can tell, don't... Um, I pretty much use one paintbrush. I think last night I used three um, and that was because I was shading and doing a few different things. But if I'm painting flowers a lot of times, not all the time, but I will, I use, I almost said wear, I wear one paintbrush. I use one paintbrush and then just go from there. Um, I feel as though I've led us all astray. I said this is going to be a lot different than most of my other ones. And I intended to only have a couple of flowers, but I'm not fat, um, it's too much. And so I feel as though we're just about to get into the thickness of this whole, whole underbelly here. Um, I get like that where everything, if you've watched any of, watch some of my other ones, you'll see that I go and then they end up kind of ab abstract-ish. Um, you know, abstract painting is not easy to paint, depending on what, you know, you're doing with it. It can be extremely difficult. Um, so I don't want to, like, uh, say that I'm truly, um, 
uh, proficient, maybe is the right word, in abstract. I like to do abstract stuff, um, but I don't always like it. It makes the message I want it to make, but I don't necessarily know that it's a true abstract, if that makes sense. Um, but I, I just love painting now. I, I never really painted um, before I um, started painting with my son, and it just, it clicked, and you know, it's like everything. The, if you look back at a lot of my, um, I almost said younger paintings, earlier stuff, um, you know, it was a learning experience. It was a learning curve. So there was a lot of, lot of possibilities. And I'm still learning. I'm still in that realm where it's not completely focused yet. It's not it's, you know, it's still growing. It's still evolving. And I'm excited about that because that's where I can continue to learn and, you know, grow in the process and just figure it all out. But this, again, is not where we were heading, but I'm just going to keep going with it. And I can never... <clears throat> I can never decide if I want, um, you know, even numbers of things or odd numbers when I'm doing, like, specific colors because then it just kind of gets to the point where you're doing specific colors and specific things. Um, yeah, so we'll see. I almost feel like I need one of these that's kind of... Um, almost more open, like, the, they look like they're all closed, not necessarily closed, but I need one, like, that's here, that just is, that's the technical term, <laughs> I don't know what that was, but there we go, so, let's see if I can make it roughly enough and open e enough um, I'm thinking that I needed it to be a little bit bigger I opened one of my paints and uh, to put it on my my palette over here my oh well I'll show it to you in a minute um and explain and it to say it is a clump O paint is probably an understatement. It is a clump of paint. <laughs> um, it is goo central. Um, so that's probably uh, not going to be used again. Um, well, it's all on my, you'll see, it's all. <laughs> On there. So I think now I have to decide. This is a purpley blue one, so I'm kind of okay with that. Um, I almost feel like I want an orange one over there, and then that's totally out of the realm of <laughs> numbers. Um, and then what happens is since I've thought about it after the fact, I then have to decide if I would want the stem over this one or kind of, you know, fluff and stuff and put it in there and then have to connect. Not that they're anywhere kind of in it, but when you then put something on there, you have to find a stem that's relatively close to it. So it's okay once you've put stuff on it. So now I have to just kind of decide what I'm going to do over here. Well, I just wanted this a little bit. If you've seen my other um, videos as well, you know that I say I like to watch paint dry. And I do. <laughs> it 
makes me happy to watch paint dry because what you see now is not going to be at all what it is then. And sure, it's going to have the, you know, the basics of this because, you know, that's not going to change. Um, I don't think. <laughs> but it's still, it's going to look, it's going to look different because of the way that the paint takes on a new, you know, destination. And so that's very fascinating to me how that happens. And so I like to watch paint dry. Um, I really like to watch paint dry. Now, um, I got to get this in here, kind of in that. Well, I think that actually worked out better than I had hoped for. I, I, that, I like when I do something that actually kind of works. <laughs> then the reason I'm excited is because then I don't have to try to manipulate the stem. I can just kind of come down here and draw like the stem on top of that and add a little. And then it's basically like it's that one. And so I just have to kind of structure this just a tiny bit where it goes this way and add some extra so that it's kind of over it. And then that works. So that makes me happy. <laughs> It's the little things, truly, that make me happy. So I think I'm not going to add anymore because this is where I get myself in trouble. I continue to add flowers. Like, I feel like I want something up here and then I want something someplace else. But I'm not going to add any more flowers. I'm just not. I'm going to go back in and kind of add a little texture to some of these. Um, I don't do this as much as I could or should because I generally tend to paint in one sitting, one, you know, one time. And so what that does is that's that paint dry thing that I was talking about because I love watching paint dry because it teaches me kind of how to add in color when I'm going through it in my eye, like the color that I want to see, because that's, that's how I got to this point where I, Oh, I just got a idea that this might be a painting that needs to be splattered. That might be something I need to do. I have to think about this, but I think this might be one because I keep wanting to add something to it and sometimes I can't step back from it. Um, but that's, that's why I paint a lot, like I said, with the, the paintbrush, cause you can see how the textures got the color in it from my thoughts of, of how it's stuck on the paintbrush. And so that's what I like to do. I get so excited about these things. Um, I'll show you what this is. See that? That is the paint blob I was talking about. <laughs> it's just a big old paint blob. I opened the, the container because it wasn't coming out of the little spout. And that. <laughs> that happened. And this is actually two colors. And this is how I kind of end up mixing everything. And in a second, I will... Um, they end up like this. I make paint blobs. Um, and then I use them. Oops, I have this out of the, I was showing way too far over. Um, they're paint blobs and they dry. And then I make jewelry and, um, magnets and different things. The belly there is, um, let's see if I can get it in the light better. Um, the belly is, is that paint blob and it's, and be sandwiched in between everything. So that's, that's my new little thing. But I'm doing this. 
We're going for it, folks. I can't slide it. Um, this is, I just needs this. It just, it, it's calling out for <laughs> this emotion that it didn't even know it needed, but it needs it. It truly, um, this is not a job that you wear your tuxedo for <laughs> or your fancy dress um, because I have paint all over me. <laughs> I, it's just funny to me, um, but I love it. And now you see, um, see we're getting it all over. I paint with my son um, and he helps me do these backgrounds. And so, oh, that was in my face. Um, so a lot of times we paint three or four at a time together. And you'll see, I like to add um, kind of this extra shading when I'm doing it with him. And that comes from, again, only using one paintbrush. And so um, we just paint. Oh, it is in my... I bet my glasses have it on and probably my phone from the, the setup. <laughs> um, some of the thicker paints, it's harder to, like, the way I'm doing this, um, there's other ways you can do it. You can flick it. You can use, like, um, like another, you know, brush and do this or, um, like, something more like this where you can kind of mix and match. So, um, I'm just tending to make a mess here with the one. <laughs> and I am making the mess. I can feel it everywhere. But it's fun. It's so fun to do this part. I'm telling you, have fun. Find fun. You know, the the world is stressed and life is stressed and things are hard. So find your fun. Find what relaxes you. Find your amusement, amazement, your joy and create, you know, or bake. Um, I had to stop baking. <laughs> I had to stop baking, um, and cooking, baking and cooking. I mean, obviously I, I eat lots, but I, I like my, I, I still make stuff with my son for, you know, different activities and things, but I was baking like almost every day and he is, he's just now, he's 11. He's just now starting to eat a few sweets. Um, but, uh, you know, I would make a plate of brown or a pan of brownies with him and they would not be eaten by a child. <laughs> they would be eaten by the mama. Okay. Now I'm just like trying to get a few extra spots and then you get big clumps. So I need to stop, but it's just exciting. So... Oh, let's get a little more up here. Let's just do this. It's very exciting. I always sign O for Owen and L and B. And you know, I have a lot of people tell me this is too much. I get it. I do. I get it. But... This is part of my journey. This is part of the story. This is why I paint. Owen is the inspiration behind my painting. He is the reason I started painting. So he's the foundation of this. He's the O and then the L and the B. And I'm not gonna change it. I, I know, you know, it's, it's a lot, but it's what I want. And I do this to make myself happy and to share our story. So that's, that's why it's there. He is so much a part of this painting journey. 
And like I said, I, I started it for him, but I sure do it for me. And that's, that's, that's the joy in this. To look at this painting and to know that he helped me with those backgrounds. He helped me do all of that. And so that's, that's it. It's the mama's joy. So that's why that's there. And I, I'm going to keep doing it. I appreciate every single one of you being on the journey with us. And, you know, this is a new channel. Well, I've had it for years, but just started really working on it in the last few months. And so I appreciate everybody that's supporting us. And um, please ask questions or, you know, watch some of my other videos and let me know. I'd love to hear some comments. And what do you think about the signature? <laughs> so let me know. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching. Toodles.